Ladies and gentlemen, man, welcome back. Hey, it's Sports Betters TV, the biggest show in the world. We're back. We're live. We're talking about NBAs, man. This thing has been a little crazy. Um, everybody seems to be, you know, just when you think somebody's going to go smash somebody, uh, somebody's coming back and whooping their ass. It's nuts, man. So we're, we're trying to get into this thing. We're trying to figure it out. Um, just want to let you know if you're new to the show who we are and what we do, okay? We are Sports Betters TV. We are not handicappers by any way, okay? We're not trying to say that our picks are the bomb. What we're looking to do is we're looking to the Sports Betters TV universe, you guys, between Tumblr, Facebook, Twitter, all that, letting us know who you're feeling and whatnot, okay? I got my boy here, The Dream. What's good, kid? How you What's doing, What's going man? on? What's going on? I was just, just trying to figure this out, man. So what do, what do you got, man? Because I am at a loss for words with this NBA you know, right the, now, too. The NBA, the thing about the NBA that made it work in the past was that the NBA, generally, uh, you had major favorites, yep. won. And it wasn't a lot of... It wasn't a lot of, you know, intermingling. Yep. Um, right now, though, it is wide open. Uh, there's no sure shot, clear winner, with the exception of probably the Heat. But even they have looked a little bit shaky. A little bit, yep. Uh, the first thing I got to say to Sports Betters TV is I got to apologize about the Chicago Bull play. Because that has just been horrific. One of the worst plays that I could have thought of, and <laughs> yeah. I know I did say that last week that I didn't know how that they won, and apparently they don't either because they're not winning anymore. <laughs> yeah, so no doubt. No they doubt. need to find their way back. Um, at this point, my advice on that play would probably be to hedge it and go in the opposite direction and take the Wizards to win that series. Uh, I really don't see Chicago getting out of – Washington in the next two games. So that right there will be part of the playoff format I was just discussing with this, with Matt Hatter over here. Um, you have a 2-2-1-1-1 a two, two, one, one, one format. And at times, if you look at the way it breaks down, there's a direct advantage to one of the teams. Uh, in this case, that advantage appears to be to Washington. So I would definitely... Definitely, if not, take a series play for Washington to win the series to hedge the money off of the original Chicago play. I definitely go in the direction of taking um, the Wizards for the next two games. All right. And I got a little special gift for you because of that series, man. Here's your Pepto, baby. All right. Because you know what, dude? Listen. <laughs> Yo, because yeah, I know you, you've been texting me like crazy. Like, oh, shit, dude. I'm getting smashed. Oh, I can't believe I gave out that Chicago play, son. Oh, what? what? It's, it's crazy, man. And just, just so everybody knows, okay, little futures. Uh, we got Chicago as uh, 175 to 1 now to win. So, but, you know, like Dr. Dizzle says, man, we should donate our money rather than doing it. not happening. <laughs> Chicago is a wrap. Unless Jordan yep. can come back, <laughs> Chicago is a wrap. All right, man. And Washington is 50 to 1. Uh, you know, it, it adjusted a little bit. Washington, I just, you know, I don't see anybody getting past the heat, but we'll get into that a little bit. Uh, who's your next play? We got it. We have another team emerging in the West. And uh, that's the Portland Trailblazers. The Portland Trailblazers. I know a lot of you guys out there really like that Houston Rocket team. But I got to tell, you, give you some news. If you've been messing with Houston Rockets these last two games, then you have also been using a whole lot of this. <laughs> because they have been atrocious. No um, I've never been a big fan of Dwight Howard in the first place. I've always thought he was an overrated player. Um, and the Portland Trailblazers, they just look hungry. They look really hungry right now. Mm -hmm. um, I don't really see any way Houston's going into Portland and coming out of there uh, with the win. So that's another play I would look into maybe series betting, taking Portland, or just taking Portland game to game as to win the next two games. All right. And you know what, dude? I found something really special today, man. Uh, actually, the other day I was talking to my boy Ryan. He's one of the partners on the show. You haven't seen him on camera yet. But... Um, I'm one of the sites that I go on, dude. You could actually parlay the series. That's right. So that's the bomb. So, I mean, yeah. if you got like a minus 500, right. you know what I'm saying, with Portland and you got a, uh, what was the other one there, the, the Washington play. Uh, if we parlay it, I mean, we could we could do some True. damage with that. You know what I'm saying? What, what Folks, minimum, minimum heading. Money you know parlays, I mean? money line parlays is, is, is a big philosophy of mine that I use a lot of times because I hate points and I hate losing games with points. If you can money line parlay the series plays, you're able to put two solid teams together and you're able to cut some of your money down so you're putting up minimal capital to get maximum gain, which is, I mean, that speaks for itself. Um, if you can get a series bet and you can series parlay, definitely look into that. Definitely try that. Like I said, I see... The Wizards winning the next two, and I definitely see Portland winning the next two, hands down. 
All right, and then uh, what what else would you have? You had uh, you had the Clips, right? The Clips. Uh, oh, the Clippers game. Yep. Um, it, it was an example. The Clippers game. We wanted to talk about the example for the two two one one series uh, as far as the playoff format. And the Clippers game was a perfect example. The Clippers had lost game one along with the Indiana Pacers. These were two great, good teams, solid teams going into the playoffs who had home court advantage. On their next game. It was easy money to put up to take them to win. Each team ended up really taking over and blowing out the, the opponent. Houston was the aberration because they let Portland beat them in game two. Uh, cost tons of people a lot of money, including me <laughs> yeah, and no doubt. one of these. Yeah. <laughs> All right, man. And so, uh, yeah, so we're, we're that's that's looking real good. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm just trying to figure it figure out if I if there's anybody I got to add to my futures you know what I'm saying because you know as you know I got my boy LeBron you know what I mean he he handled business he 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 made me a little nervous last night man I got to give a big shout to uh uh to my boy Sharp man on 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 Twitter he he told me to take Charlotte plus the points and Rich Winter did as well and I didn't listen to him man because I'm thick-headed when it comes to my boy but whatever you know what I'm saying and, um, the, the thing with the NBA, you know, out there is you, you just can't bet these games night in and night out. Um, you have to stop and pick your spots. The Heat are always laying a large, large, large number. Um, large numbers are very hard, especially with playoff intense teams. Even even the Heat, um, who are a good team, or one of the, the best team, and they should win. But, I mean, if you look at the Bobcats, they're hungry. Yeah, no I doubt. mean, they're out no there. They're hungry yeah. right now. And, and, and they're not looking to just be dominated. They're going to be in the fight, which is why we came on and we talked about series betting as opposed to trying to bet individual games. Because no matter how hungry the Bobcats are, they're losing. <laughs> yeah, I they're know. losing. So our our play and taking you know the heat for the series is gonna win. You it might you had to put up some money, but it's gonna win. So whenever you can win, that's the name of the game. Yeah, no doubt. I mean, I you know I I did not do the uh, the heat to win the series just because it, the the I had to put up like a G note to win like ten bucks or some shit like that. I took him so, to win the East. Though. I, took I took him to win the I East. I took him to win the whole thing. Okay, you know what I mean. So I got them. Okay, right. Um, I got them as far as the futures are concerned. I got them. I got OKC with K Dizzle uh, with that crazy three the other night. Don't ask me how they lost, dude, because I mean, if he hit that one free throw, I think we would have been good, and I would have hit that. But I did. I got my ass kicked on that, and I got my little. Atlanta Hawk play still flying, kid. You know what I'm saying? They got two home games now, Playboy. So uh, you, you never know, dude. They you know do. What I'm Hawks uh, they got two get the games. Series. It's, a, it's an interesting series. Uh, OKC, I definitely see them stealing one of those games and getting home court advantage back in their yep, favor. Yep. I definitely see them taking one of those games. Um, really good team. You know, really well balanced. Um, I really expect them to rebound. But it's wide open right now. NBA's starting to mirror the NFL where it's wide open. So you got to be cognizant of that people and keep your eye on these games no doubt i gotta break your balls about something man i gotta break your balls about pop getting smoked last night by 22 points kid all i know is listen man when we go to the club dude i am gonna film a little vine video you buying me drinks you know what i'm saying with the, everybody around cheering you on as you're buying the it's, mad hat or some it's, shit it's, kid it's, it's, it's sports brothers tv it's a matchup situation the nba is a matchup situation and dallas presents a lot of matchup issues for san antonio i have no doubt that popovich in his infinite wisdom and the big dunking stick will come up with a way to get this series back in order, yeah. um, just not just not buying into that. You know what, man? I mean, you, you're gonna need you're gonna need Parker running wild, and you're gonna need Ginobili with the little ball spot wilding yeah. uh, to to be hitting threes. You know what yeah. I mean? Uh, yeah, definitely. If not, if not, you, you got some problems definitely. over there, man. Because that definitely. Dallas team, you know, Cuban Cuban's crazy. And like I said, this is just our opinion. You know what I mean? We're looking to you guys to kind of let us know what you're feeling. You know what I'm saying? And we'll you know maybe we'll adjust our plays a little bit. You know, after hearing some good advice from you. Um, right now, we're gonna get into the shout outs part of the show. Um, we've been asked to come on a couple of shows uh, with some really good dudes, uh, straightbacktalk.com with Raphael. We're going to be on there real soon. And keeping it real with Danny B. This dude is really funny, man. You got to check him out. Um, also, the websites, uh, madpicks.com. Dude, I, I think these dudes helped us out, man, get a lot of views. You know what I mean? So we love you guys, man. Thank you so much. Fan Lucci also put our videos on his stuff. 
And uh, as far as the handicappers, I've been playing with a little bit. Uh, I'll be honest with you guys, man. I got most of my money wrapped up in the NBA. So the MLBs, I'm just touching those a little bit. So I can't really, you know, uh, take everybody's plays. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, if you could throw me your five star or whatever. Uh, Chris Sharp killed it last night. Thank you, bro. I got Ace. I got uh, JCP Sports and Champ. Those are my dudes. Grumpy Sports. Uh, the Sports Sharks. Thank you. Uh, Sports Betting Paradise. Unit Cap Master, Moonshine Money, and Profit Bets, man. Profit Bets is flying right now. Got to give a shout else. out to the covers people. Yep. Uh, Covers.com, you know, de decent, decent site. Those guys, I know you guys are out there. You probably are part of our audience too. Uh, Got to give them a shout out. B Mac out in Tennessee uh, with some of the stuff he's given has been good. Uh, on the hockey front as well. Oh, no doubt, no doubt. Okay, man. So with that said, dude, you got anything else to add? Because I am, I'm ready to good. I want to get get back and uh, get get some of this NBA. Uh, Nothing stuff. else to add. <laughs> just getting involved with this right here, the Pepto. Um, trying to make sure I got enough of that in the fridge. Hopefully, I'm keeping you folks away from it, though. All right, man. So, and, and the rest of the handicappers that we talk about, man, you're all listed at the bottom of the screen here on YouTube, okay? Um, just so you guys know, okay, some of these guys may charge some money or whatever for some of their picks. I don't know, and I don't really care, okay? We don't get nothing off it. We're just basically looking for talent, all right? Well, um, this show, man, we come out of pocket to do this show, okay? It's no bullshit, all right? We don't make any money. You know what I'm saying? Pepto is not paying us to throw their shit on here. They're not. Something that, They're not. You know, that we wanted to do, you know what I mean? So, um, with that said, sports Matters TV is taking over the world, dude, okay? Period. All right, we're going to work our asses off to make this show the biggest thing in the world. I promise you that, all right? With help and love from our friends and fans, man, we love you to death. Sports Betters TV, you guys have a great day. Myself, The Dream, adios. Peace out.